Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you saw in the title, I'm going to do a skincare routine. Uh, this is especially if you are in the weekend, you're relaxed and you want to pamper your skin. Uh, I'm going to show you what all to do. So I'm going to break it down step by step what to use after what, like what are the steps in which you have to actually uh, do a very elaborated skincare. This is not just, you know, cleanse, tone and moisturize. I have added a lot of other steps that you can do to completely pamper your skin and rejuvenate so yeah this is what this video is all about if you are excited to see how i am going to do my skincare and how you are supposed to do your skincare if you are on your weekend then yeah please continue watching so yeah guys the primary step that goes unsaid before you start your skincare is to remove your makeup it's very very important uh, to remove your makeup before you head on to your skincare, uh, you should not have any uh, makeup residues or any any kind of dirt or pollution in your skin while you're doing your skincare. So yeah, I'm just gonna remove my makeup first. So I've tied my hair and removed my earrings and all of all the other distractions. So to remove my makeup today, I'm gonna use three things. The first one is the Ever Youth Naturals Micellar Cleanser. This is how it looks like. It's a spray type micellar water bottle. And I really love this. I have used this a couple of times and I know how it works. It is very, very good. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my face and then wipe it off using a wet wipe. So I'm using the Kaya's Refreshing Mattifying Wipes. So this also removes makeup. So this will be the right uh, thing to use after you spray the micellar water. So after I wipe uh, the makeup off of my face, just to make sure that all of the makeup is out, I'm going to use the All Clear Cleansing Oil Whip. Uh, this is how it looks like. It's a very, very good product. Uh, this is from the face shop. It just removes your makeup in just one go. It's so beautiful. I think I'm almost about to end this bottle and I, I will buy another one. It is very good. It is a must have if you are a makeup junkie. So yeah, I really recommend this one. So make sure you shake this bottle before you spray the micellar water on your face because this is a biphase solution. So you have to mix the oil and the water together. Um, so yeah, after you shake it really well, just uh, keep it a little bit away from your face and spray the micellar water. So as soon as you spray the micellar water, take the wet wipe and start wiping your face. So yeah, as you can see, I have got all of the makeup off my face. I still believe that there is a little bit of mascara and a lipstick on my lips. So I'm just going to use the All Clear Oil Whip from the face shop and just remove that also. I'm just going to take two pumps of this. This is how the oil whip looks. So I'm just going to rub this between my fingers and start massaging it on my face. Uh, so this actually breaks down any tiny bit of makeup that is there on my face and it turns into oil formula. So yeah guys, as you can see, it's just oil formula right now. It's breaking down all of my makeup, my eyeshadow, my eyebrows, my lipstick, everything is gone. I'll just wash off my face and I'll be right back. So yeah guys, I washed off the oil whip from my face and my face actually feels better. So the next step is actually to cleanse your face. Uh, now if you already feel that your makeup is off and your skin is fresh, it does not have makeup, then you can uh, totally skip this step. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of optional. If you feel that your makeup is not off and you, and you really want to wash your skin again, uh, then you can do this step. If not, then uh, directly jump to the next step. But I feel that I want to wash my face again uh, just to make sure that it is super extremely clean before I uh, go on to the skincare so yeah I'm gonna use the face shops rice water bright cleanser this is a very good cleanser this is the rice water bright all-in-one cleanser I've almost used up this product I think I'm gonna end this I don't know whether the, it's available in the market or no I'll find it out leave a link if it is there but yeah you can use any cleanser any face wash would do uh, but I love this one it also kind of removes the makeup if you have any on your face so yeah, I really love this one and I highly recommend this. 
So as you can see, there are small granules here, which also kind of scrubs your face. So it's a, as they say, it's an all-in-one cleanser. Okay, I really love this. And I think I'm just gonna take half a pump or one pump of this product, not too much. I'm just gonna warm it up between my fingers and start applying it on my face. So yeah, this is a dry cleanser, but if you want lather, you can just add a little water and then start massaging your face. So I'm just gonna wash off this cleanser and I'll be right back. So yeah guys, I washed my face and pad dried my skin. It really, really feels good and I feel fresh. There's no experience like taking off your makeup and washing your face. It, it feels like you can breathe again. Uh, but yeah, I feel very, very fresh and uh, literally I'm officially ready for skincare. So the primary step is to remove your makeup and uh, that is finished. Step one is to cleanse your face completely so that it's fresh for your makeup and that I've finished. So now step two is to tone your face, okay? You know that your skin is so fresh and it... It is, you know, all your pores are open and uh, there is nothing on your skin and this is the right time to uh, apply a toner. Toners really treat your skin very, very nicely. They kind of, they're a shield to all of your other skincare and it is a very beautiful product. I was not aware of toners before, but then now that I know about it, I can't stop using them. So now that is step two to tone your face and today I'm using the Boutique's Bio Cucumber pore tightening toner this is for normal to oily skin this is how it looks like i love this toner this is like my third bottle and i cannot get uh, you know enough of this they tell that this is uh, that this contains himalayan waters so it is a very very good toner it actually tightens your pores it gives a very good cooling effect and you really feel very uh, rejuvenated when you apply this toner so yeah that's what i'm going to do today So I'm just gonna take some cotton pads and put this toner and uh, start massaging it on my face. So yeah guys, toner is done, that is step two. Now, so now step three is to moisturize. So yeah guys, for moisturizer today I'm using the Lacmes Aloe Aqua Gel. Uh, so this is how it looks like, this is the 9 to 5 natural range. I really love this, this is my second bottle in fact, I really love the way it uh, sits on my skin. It's very very light, yet it moisturizes, it has aloe. I really like the cooling effect that it gives to my skin. So yeah, this is a very very good product. So you get around 50 grams in this and this is around 200 rupees. So yeah, I think it's a very very good deal. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this. So I've given some time for my skin to absorb the moisturizer now that now that the toner and moisturizer is on my face so I can start applying the heavier products and by heavier I mean by consistency so now with skincare this is the deal okay so to start with the lighter products and go with the heavier ones so now you have applied a toner now moisturizer then you can start applying your serums your facial oils and then your mask so this is how I'm going to do my skincare today we have finished toner and moisturizer and and our next step is to apply a facial oil. Today I'm using the Nika Moringa's Cold Pressed Oil. This is a very very good oil but uh, you should know that I have oily skin and oily skin girls be very careful when you use uh, facial oils. You make sure that you just use one or one and a half two drops that's it. Uh, don't use more because your face naturally produces a lot of excess oils. So yeah, you have to really be careful when you're applying serums or oils. Make sure that you take a little bit of them. So I have around two pumps of the product. I'm just going to warm it up between my fingers. I'm not going to apply a lot and I'm just going to pat it on my skin. Just to make sure that my skin absorbs all of this uh, essential oil. So yeah guys, I've applied the facial oil and my skin actually feels soft. Uh, if you have a serum, you can apply a serum on top of this and dry skin girls, 
please please use a serum because it completely hydrates your skin actually your skin uh, your skin will start to you know feel alive okay so that's why uh, using a serum is really important uh, for dry skin girls oily skin girls i think you can skip on it if you are using facial oils i would say skip the serum and if you are using a serum skip the facial oil but don't use both because it is going to be too much for your skin okay so yeah as i've used a facial oil today i'm going to skip on the serum and move to the next step so fourth step would be serum and it's optional it depends on your skin type now the fifth step is to apply a face mask okay and today i have the garnier skin natural serum mask uh, this is the super hydrating brightening tissue mask this is how it looks like i really like this range they have around four varieties of this uh, the garnier ones and i really like this one especially so yeah this is highly recommended any face mask for that matter they do their job uh, they actually there's a lot of uh, essential oils in this so that will really help your skin uh, to you know take in all of these uh, essential oils and it will actually work on your skin uh, you might not be able to see it but that will happen so i'm going to put on this face mask now so i'm going to put on this face mask for about 15 minutes let it settle down and then i'm going to be right back so yeah guys i put on the face mask for 15 minutes and i removed it if you have any excess oils you can just put it on your hands and your elbows you know it is it is just going to hydrate and do nothing else so like that you won't be even wasting the oils in your face mask so while i was masking so i put on this cucumber gels eye mask it's a very very uh, beautiful eye mask it has cooling effects and i just put it on on both of my eyes and i just had a quick nap for 15 minutes it was very good okay so i'm just going to show this eye mask to you so i have two of this right so this is how it looks like it is a cucumber gel eye mask they have a gel right behind so you can keep it in the fridge 30 minutes before you use it and you know this gel gets cool and you can put it on your eyes it will be so good your eyes need this kind of uh, you know rest you can also use it when it is warm uh, it will give you a very good uh, soothing effect so that's what it says behind the package you should definitely check this out it is very very good So now we've finished six steps in our skincare. So the first step was to cleanse, then to tone, then moisturize. Then fourth step was to apply your facial uh, oils. Fifth step is the serum. It is optional uh, and depends on your skin type. And sixth step was to apply the face mask. Now the seventh step again is optional, but I use this and especially while I'm going to sleep. This is the eyelash lid and brow butter. So this is a very very good product. It enhances the hair growth on your eyebrows and eyelashes. So I put it every day before I sleep because you're gonna massage your eyelashes. you're going to get such a good sleep you can apply this on the eyelid as well just massage it on your eyelid on your eyelashes on your brow it is going to work wonders you will have a very very good night sleep so yeah i'm just going to use this now this is also highly optional but i love doing this step so i thought i'll include it in my video i'm going to take a thin layer of this massage it between my fingers and start to apply this on my eyebrows just massage it nicely when you're applying massage back and forth so that it gets into uh, all of the tiny hair follicles and yeah you can take a little bit of this product and start to massage your eyelashes as well now i'm going to take a little bit of this product on my ring finger and uh, i'm going to apply this around my eye i'm just going to go in anti clockwise direction and start massaging my under eye and my lid like this so yeah guys after applying the brow and the eyelash butter we move on to the next step that is the eighth step in this step we are going to apply a lip balm and for lip balm today i'm using the laneige lip sleeping mask in berry I really love this product. This is such a good lip balm. It works wonders. It smells beautiful and it is so good. I really love this uh, lip balm. I think this is you get about 8 grams for 500 rupees. It's very very good. 
uh, I would highly suggest you guys to try this out. So next day morning, you can feel that your lips are plumpy, plushy, and all of the dead skin is gone. It repairs your lips. It works on those wrinkles. So yeah, it's very, very good. I'm gonna scoop out a lot of this lip balm on my ring finger and I'll start massaging my lips. I'm being very, very generous because I love this product. So the last step is to apply a hand cream and this is a very optional step. I do this every day so I thought I'd include this. I'm using the Nykaa's Jasmine and Neroli Hand and Nail Cream. Uh, this is how it looks like. You have, if you have extremely dry hands then please go ahead and use it. I'm going to equally divide this on both of my fingers and uh, start applying it on my hands. So yeah guys, that is it for the weekend skincare. Uh, so these are all the things that I would do if I want to pamper my skin. So just to summarize, the primary step is to remove your makeup. Then the next step, that is the first step, is to cleanse your face. The second step is to tone your face. The third step is to moisturize. The fourth one is to apply your facial oils. The fifth step is to apply your serum. This is highly uh, dependent on your skin type. The sixth step is to apply a facial mask. The seventh step is to apply a lid and brow butter. This is also optional. If you want to, then you can. Then the eighth step is to apply a lip mask or a lip balm, anything. It is mandatory, okay? And the ninth step is to apply a hand cream. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to pamper your skin and you know, give some time to yourself. So yeah, if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below which of these steps you actually do on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel because that will mean everything to me. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.